to the calculator class of the question we just completed now. Now, when you are given the question like this, if y is equal to 1 plus x squared over 1 minus x squared, find y dx. Now, how do you go about this? Now, you press on your calculator, you press shift and the button under alpha. It will give you dx like this. Now, when you have this, inside this place where you have the black cursor, you press your fracture button. When you press the fracture button, you press 1 at the numerator, you press plus, then you press alpha x, then you press square. When you press square, come to your denominator, then when you come to the denominator, you press 1, you can see we are following the question, then you press minus, when you press minus, you press alpha and the close bracket, which will give you the x, then you press what? Press square. When you press square, then come to the value of x here. When you come to the value of x here, you are going to substitute any value of x you want. You can use 2, you can use 3, you can use any, but I prefer using 2. Now, when you use 2, like this, when you put 2 there, then press equals 2. When you press equals 2, you will observe at the end, you have something like 0 0.8889 as your answer. Now, we are going to now save our x. So, press AC. When you press AC, we are going to save the x we used here, which is 2, on our calculator. So press 2. When you press 2, then press alpha. Uh, when you press shift. You press shift, then you press RCL. When you press RCL, then save it with the button of x, which is close bracket. That is, again, you press 2, you press shift, RCL, and you press the button of what? Of x. That's how to save. Now, when you have saved 2, you have saved x as what? Well, as 2. Then let's go to the option. Testing option A. Don't forget, the option that has the same value with this answer here is our right answer. Now go to option A. Option A says, you press the fracture button. When you press the fracture button, you come to your numerator, which is 4. You press 4, then you press alpha x. When you press alpha x, come to your denominator, you press your open bracket. When you press open bracket, press 1. When you press 1, press minus, then press alpha x, press square. Then close the brackets and square it. Then press equals to. When you press equals to, you will observe that the final answer of this as well is 0 0.8889. Yes, the same thing. I've gotten my answer already because the answer is option A. And as I've solved that before, and which obviously it is 4x over 1 minus x squared or squared. But some of you may still be doubting that this is not applicable to others. So let me test option B. So, why testing option B? You press your fracture button. When you press your fracture button, come to your numerator. You press 4 and you press alpha x. When you press alpha x, come to your denominator. You press 1. When you press 1, you press minus. Then press alpha x. And press equals to. You will observe that the final answer of this is minus 8. Trust me, you cannot see the answer that is the same thing with this question aside option A. With this, you can use this method in all differentiation except those ones that include sine, cos, tan, etc. And that will be in the next video. I want your comments. I want you to subscribe. Comment and let us see the next calculator method that you want. God bless you. Thank you very much.